Hey, what's going on, my friend? Chris here from Mixdown Online, and today I want to show you how you can transpose a full song in a different key in Cubase. Now, if this is your first time here on the channel, feel free to subscribe and to click the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And again, if you like and that you think the video is helpful, share and like. Okay, now, um, lately I've been working on some new music, which is always fun. And I was working on that song with my good friend Jimmy, and um, we worked on the music side of the production. And we sent that over to the lead singer for him to be uh, to work on the melody and work some lyrics out. Um, and when we got the track back, the lead vocal track uh, back, just to listen to uh, the type of melodies um, he came up with, uh, we found that... Um, the key was a bit too high for the singer. Um, so what I did, I went into Cubase and I just pitch shifted everything down by two semitones. I actually sent uh, the lead singer two different versions. Uh, one, a semitone lower and the second version, a full tone lower. And uh, we ended up going with the, uh, the one with the full tone lower. So this way I was able to determine which key was the best key for the lead singer. And this is something very important and you need to take the time to do so. And this is a very important step to make sure that the singer uh, sounds very good in the key you're working on. And if you need to make some changes or experiment with different keys, um, this is a very fast way to do so in Cubase. So let's jump in Cubase right away, and I'm going to show you like a couple of different ways you can use uh, to transpose your entire song. Uh, okay, so first, let's start by um, looking at the arrangement. Um, I have like audio tracks right here on top, and I have a drum MIDI track as well. Um, okay, so I'm going to select select all of my audio events, okay? Uh, and first what I'm gonna do here is to go into algorithm right here on top, and I'm gonna make sure that I select Elastic Pro Pitch, uh, which is the algorithm that sounds the best in my opinion, if I wanna do some pitch shifting. And then, oh, I think I forgot to do the same for the bass, uh, so let's do so. All right, so now I'm gonna select all of those uh, audio tracks, and I'm just gonna click on transpose right, right here on top, and I'm just gonna select and uh, click minus two. So that is gonna bring down those audio tracks by two semitones, okay, or a full tone. And I'm gonna do the same for the MIDI tracks as well, all the MIDI events, except the drums, because I don't wanna pitch down the drums. Uh, so I'm selecting all of my keys, and I'm gonna do the same thing here, right here on top, uh, transpose, click and so, uh, write down minus two in my case, and this is what I get. So I'm gonna do a before and after. I'm gonna go back to its initial state, and this is how it sounded like. All right, so let's go back and pitch those down by two semitones. That simple. Now let me show you another way that you can use that will do the same thing. It's gonna require maybe a couple of extra steps, but not that much. So let's uh, go and reach for a, um, uh, a new track here. I'm gonna select Add Transpose Track, and that is gonna add a transpose track. I'm gonna just select, uh, color that uh, to blue, okay? So it's gonna be easier for us to follow. Um, and what I can do here is just to use the Draw Tool and just draw one, uh, uh, one event on that transpose uh, track. And at this point, I'm gonna go back to my selection tool. I'm gonna go to the left side of that event where there's a zero and just write down minus two because I wanna bring that down one full tone uh, or two semitones. Okay, let's listen to that. Now the problem is um, it pitch shifted down by two semitones, the entire drums, which are in uh, MIDI using a uh, virtual instrument track. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna go back and bring that back to zero. Uh, and I'm gonna select my drums MIDI events. Okay, and you can do so for all tracks that you don't want to transpose. So um, if you have like several uh, percussion MIDI tracks, uh, drums and stuff like that, that you, that you don't want to transpose down because it's going to mess up this, uh, the sound like it did on this, uh, those drums, uh, what you can do is select, okay, those events. 
and you go on top and there's a global transpose option here. Now, if you don't see that on top of the window, um, just go on the, uh, the right side here. There's a settings window. There's a setting option and make sure that the follow global transpose is checked on. Okay. And this is going to just add that option right up here. Okay. So I'm going to do that again, select my, um, my MIDI events. And then I'm going to click on the follow. And instead of follow, I'm going to bring that to independent. So this way, when I'm going to transpose uh, the entire song with the transpose track, when I'm going to bring that down by two semitones, the drums are not going to be affected, basically. Okay, so now the cool thing about using a, the uh, the transpose track, it's just very very easy to try different uh, um, you know different uh, keys and to transpose the entire thing uh, in a very fast way. Just need to change the value of the event itself, and that's it. Now, there's more things you can do with a transpose track, but this is going to be for another video. Uh, so for now, this is how I work um, this out when I want to transpose a full song, mainly an arrangement, and I want to just experiment with different keys. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to do it manually like I showed you in the first part of the video, or use the transpose track. So this is going to be it for today. I hope that was helpful. If so, share and like, and again, if you're new here on the channel, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. All right, I'm going to see you next time. Bye-bye.